What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough, the birthday edition, and yes, yes guys, turning 30 today, holy crap, Dra Draven's dirty 30, it's been a good one right now, it really has, and uh, well, I don't necessarily feel 30, but I'm very, very grateful for all the birthday wishes that you guys have given me, thank you guys once again for the birthday wishes, and I hope that, you know, these last... Few episodes have been entertaining you during this time of, you know, whatever, pandemic and all that stuff. Yes, I know, I'm one of those people that has a birthday on a pandemic time, but you know what? If you have if you guys have seen the last few birthdays that I've had, you probably realize that it's not all that bad for me because yeah. But anywho, in the last episode, we managed to evolve Fireblade into Fletchinder, I think, and I think we put it back into the storage room. And now we're in Campfire Town. And we got a few things that we need to check out. First is first. Let's go down right here. Don't know what this is, but you will be finding an item right here. And that is a star piece. So it's great. And well, let's see. What else is there? There's not a lot of stuff that you can actually find here. And well, let's see. Um, Campfire Town. You can go in here. It's a hotel, I think. And I think you'll be able to find a, a few people of interest of some sort. So there's nothing right there. Well, let's go right here and talk to this guy. Since you came all this way to Campfire Town, take this with you. We get ourselves a full heal, which is nice. Actually takes the, the slack off like, you know, like uh, any kind of other healing items right there. So let's go right here and talk to this one. Check it out. I never dropped the balls. Hmm. She never drops the balls. Okay, that's good. Good for her, you know, good for her. Hope she lives a long life. And uh, would you look at that, homeboy with the O powers is here. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Hey, how's it going, friend? I'm Mr. Bonding, the expert on the O powers. Let me just ask, uh, let me just, uh, or let me ask you just in case. Do you need to hear an explanation of O powers? No. Hey, that's my friend. Let's get started, shall we? It's bonding time. And we get ourselves a special attack level 1. Special attack, special stat. You can use the O powers on the PSS, and the more you use them, the higher they go up. So use them as possible as often. Well then, I do believe I should take my leave right about now. Hope to see you around. That's good. Alrighty. So in this episode right here, guys, it's going to be a nice uh, long one, because I kind of want to finish the 10th episode by the time we get to a Snorlax. We're going to be talking to a few people that may have an idea about Mega Evolution. And then after that, we're going to be going towards a route where there's a buttload of Pokemon. So there's nothing right here except for maybe... Uh, I gotta check. I gotta check the houses to see if anybody's offering any items. No? Let's see. Uh, how's it going there? I'm Cassius. Check this out. You know what I'm doing here? I'm keeping the PC box running. No, seriously? Bill over in Kanto asked me to come here and run things. For real! Enough to, with the introductions. Get out there and catch some Pokemon and put them in the PC. Yo, you got something to ask me? I ain't got all day, you know. No. Okay, so... Well, his... his yeah, he, he's the guy that runs the PCs right here, so that's pretty cool. And, uh, let's see, talk to this one. She will be giving you the TM46 Thief, which is a good move. With Thief, uh, move, with the Thief move, you can take this target, uh, or take the target's held item while dealing damage to it. It won't work if the user's already holding an item, though. Oh, well, true, true, true. You could find some rare, rare stuff. Anywho, uh, okay, so that was the only place that we needed to go to. Now, let's go straight up to the, let's see, what is this place called? I don't even know. The Shebenu, Shebenu Castle. The Shebenu Castle. It's not so shabby after all, huh? And, well, look who's here. One of the girlfriends. Hi, Sensei! Hmm. An acquaintance of yours? Two visitors at the Shebenau Castle? I can't remember the last time we've been so busy. This castle, chateau, if you will, was a manor house of a whole of a noble family. It may be a little run down, but that's because the, there's history in this place. During that history, the owners of this castle gave away a lot of their stuff to everyone. So they can uh, so that's why it feels so empty at the end. That's it? Don't you have anything related to Mega Evolution? Hmm? That's it? What in the world is Mega Evolution? Da -da -da. Oh damn, okay. Sir, it's back again. Well, is it is it that time uh, of the year already? There, well, there's nothing I can do about it now. 
I need to go to Route 7, but please take your time and have a look around. Oh, well, there's something going on. I wonder what that was all about. Why don't we go to Route 7 too? Hmm. We should. Alright, so what I'm gonna do here first is uh, I need to see if there's an there's an item right here. I believe there is. Let's see. Going straight right here. And no, there's nothing right here. Except for just like maybe items and stuff. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, there it is. Here's an item. We found ourselves an escape rope. Don't necessarily need it right now, but you know, it would be, it's a good item. It's a good, good, good item, I guess. And, well, going down, and, well, we're going to be going straight to Route 7 next. And, uh, let's see, Campfire Town, it's been good, but now, let's see. Actually, what, what happens if you talk to this guy? Seven having no cancel, must be pretty, you look at me, we are different people after all. Okay, whatever. Okay, Route 7 at Riviere, walk, and, well, now, eventually I'll go down there, but it's this episode right here. We have to go to Route 7 and talk to this guy, and, well, what is going on? Sensei, what is it? Oh, damn, it's a goddamn Snorlax. He's asleep. Here we go again. It's sleeping so soundly, the end of the world wouldn't wake it. Look, it's practically a mountain, right? It's walking the road completely. Come on now, sir. Use the pokey flute. Oh wait, do you even have it anymore? Nope. I handed it over. Or you could say it was taken by the owner of the place or palace. What? Huh? What's a pokey flute? Basically, the pokey flute is what we need to wake up Snorlax. But pokey flute is currently at the Parfum uh, Parfum Palace. Oh, that's it. All I need to do is get it, then. Come on, Sensei, let's go. The Parfum Palace is just at Route 6, and maybe at le maybe at a place like that, we might learn something about Mega Evolution. That is true. So in this whole episode, we're gonna be going straight to Route 6. Um, we're gonna be completing a lot of this stuff right there, like battling everybody. Uh, Route 6 is home to a bunch of Pokemon, a bunch of uh, rare, rare Pokemon. And what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be going to both sides right here, battling everybody, and then we're going to end it up at that Parfum Palace right there. So let's see, this Palais, or Palais Lane actually has two very different faces. One is the easiest stroll here, and the other, well, I guess you find out that you're way back from the palace. Okay, well, that is true. And, well, there really isn't nothing that we can do right here. Actually, our way back from the palace. That wouldn't be such a bad idea. Nah. Alright, so we're gonna be battling people right here. Taking on some, uh, seasoned veterans and all that stuff, and good old Draven is about to take on Hiroko with, uh, Pikachu. You know, watching some animes in the anime version, like in the Japanese version, man, there was a lot of, there is a lot of passion behind the voice. Far more than what the, uh, the American version does. The dub version, I should say. Yeah. Hiroko! A lot meaner, a lot more passionate, all that stuff. So here we go, confusion attack. Doesn't it nearly does it? Okay, so here we go again, one more confusion. Yeah, guy number three needs to just like straighten up a little because god dang, it's not that strong just yet. And look at that, this Pikachu is about to go down, and here comes that piece for Thunder Shock. Here goes. Confusion for the win. Say goodbye to that Pikachu. And well, coming out with a Pidgey. I think I already know what to do. And like I said before, guys, I did send back a Fire Blade to the PC. Not really going to have it on my team uh, for right now. And here comes a Pidgey right now. Easy, buddy. Easy. Well, let's go with the Thunder Shock right here. Oh yes. Oh yes. Simple. Swift. It easy. Okay. And look at that. Godzilla grows to level 18. And here comes a Psyduck. I'm just gonna keep uh, with uh, with Leah. I wonder if we could shoot. Cloud Nine. Okay. Wonder if it, yeah, I wonder if Cloud Nine actually does have an effect for like you know when Kyogre and Grau don't have their weather effect. Could be. I don't know. Should try it out. And look at that. Hiroko has been defeated. Alrighty.
Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. I think there's one more trainer right here. And then we're going to be going to well, either side, battling a buttload of trainers, seeing a lot of Pokemon that we haven't seen in quite some time. Iroko! Iri or Eriko. Oh, I, I don't even know how to say it. All right, Zigzagoon. You're looking all zigzaggy and goony. So here we go. Let's see a confusion attack right here. And, wow, you gotta love those big dull eyes. Just lowering our attack, but this is a special attack right here. It's always nice. So here we go, another confusion. And, yeah, don't necessarily know why you're using baby doll eyes. I'm gonna physically attack you. And Zigzagoon survives that one, so let's go ahead and one more time. And this is Zigzagoon right here. Zigzagging and gooning and a confusion attack. Does it. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. And look at that. Confu or Gaia gets another level right there. Alrighty. And well, he's coming out with a gulpin, so let's stay tuned. Let's stay put right here with the Gaia the Fierce Knight. And let's go. Confusion attack. For the win. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, damn. Look at that. So we gotta hit it one more time right here. And there you go. No more Gulpin. Say goodbye, Gulpin. Alrighty, alrighty. And coming out with the Ralts. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon and use the... Well, the quickest way to defeat a Ralts is... Kakashi and Take. Look at that. Look at all mean and everything. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. So, let's go with a... Uh, oh, crap. Did I just use Lick? Yeah, it works. Okay, it works. Alright, alright. It worked. Alrighty, and look at that. Kakashi Hitake grows to level 20. Learning Smoke Screen. And, yeah, really don't need Smoke Screen for right now. Not really doing competitive stuff, so... Yeah, give up on Smoke Screen. And Ido Eriko has been defeated. Alrighty, guys. So I'm gonna be, I'll be right back. I'm getting a phone call right here. I'll be just a sec. Uh, damn. You gotta love family, guys. You really do, because they always call at the most inconvenient times. That being, uh, while I'm doing my recordings. So let's move on forward right here. And well, as you can see, we are in the Parfum Palace, but we will be going there in the next episode what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going side to side and we're just gonna be battling everybody the next episode it won't be much of action or anything the only thing we're gonna be doing is just trying to capture a a Pokemon so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna be battling every single one of these guys and you know making my Pokemon super strong and everything especially before uh, episode 10 alright so here we go double battle Time. Har, har, har. I can see it in your face. I can feel it in the air around you. You're a trainer who loves his Pokemon. Tee -hee -hee. Come join us for a Pokemon battle. I'm confident that you'll uh, you'll love your Pokemon even more after we're done. That is true. I do love Pokemon. So here we go. Van uh, Pokefine family. Jan and Aaron are going up against Furfrows. And look at that. They're a little bit stronger than usual. Like it said in his Pokedex entry. When they get groomed, they become a little swifter, so that right there could be a problem. So let's go with a Dragon Rage onto this guy, and a Water Pulse to this guy again. So you gotta love the whole uh, ganging up on one Pokemon. And look at that, Dragon Rage, finish him! Furfrow has been defeated! Yeah, buddy! And, uh, well, look at that, Godzilla Godzilla growing to level 19. And Kakashi Hitake is getting those experience points, but Aaliyah getting more experience points too. Here comes that headbutt attack, and well, let's go right ahead and use a Dragon Rage right here. And let's go with the Water Pulse to the Furfrow. Look at that. Teamwork at its best. Gang up on him. Yeah. Not so swift anymore, huh? Now, I don't think the Furfrow's uh, haircuts last very long. I think they like buy it every single time and look at that level 20 finally and level 21 oh look at that kicking ass taking names kakashi attacking all right all right okay that's nice pretty awesome anywho let's see 
While I'm doing this, many of you guys already know that I'm going to be battling everybody right here. And yeah, there's going to be some Pokemon hidden, or Pokemon trainers hidden around here. So I'm just going to be talking about a few things. I know, I've done it all the time. Now, if you guys checked out my schedule last week on what I'm going to be doing for, you know, the, 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 the remaining episodes of every single walkthrough I have, this week, of course, you're seeing Pokemon, you're seeing Pokemon X. Just the first 10 episodes and all that stuff. I get it, guys. Going a little too quickly with you walkthroughs, but hey, you know what? I do what I want. I really do. And it sounds... It sounds like a like like a dick way of saying it, but no! Like, I have a lot of time right now since this pandemic had slowed down a lot of stuff, guys. I mean, I would rather do this right now than me being super busy because, well, you know, I have a busy-ass schedule. Now... I believe next week, starting next week, we will be coming out with the very first few episodes of Pokemon Black. The after game show, or the after game. And look at that, Godzilla growing like crazy. Yeah, no, I'm not going to teach that. And, well, Brigitte has been defeated. And I did say that I, I am coming out with Pokemon Stadium, or not Pokemon Stadium, but another, another recordings of uh, Pokemon Snap, I think, yes. And, well, there's nothing right here. Let's go straight right here. And look at that. We found ourselves a Super Repel. Much needed item. And, yeah. I did say that I was going to re-record Pokemon Snap. Incorporate some background into it. That way you guys know what Pokemon to find in Pokemon Snap. And then uh, Omega Ruby. I don't know when I'm going to get that done. But it's going to be it's gonna be a while. Because, you know, there's we still got the after game. Just a few things. I don't know if I want to like show the legendary Pokemon in this ep and like in this walkthrough as well, mainly because it's like eh, I kind of don't want to, kind of don't want to spend a lot of time just trying to capture these legendaries. But we'll see. Now here we found ourselves in Agua Berry. Look at that, Agua again. And here we have a trainer wanting to battle. Zoom, zoom, zoom. With my shorts on, I can run like the wind. Hmm. True that. So, youngster Tyler wants the battle. He's coming with his vanity. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And here's Kakashi Hitake. Ready to destroy everybody with his water pulls attack. Look at that. By the way, guys, you can find vanipedes around this area. In the bushes, I believe. And. You just, I guess you're gonna have to, like. I guess you're gonna have to, like, uh, run close to the bushes. I think that's what it is. But anywho, yes, Pokemon Snap. Doing this because eventually the new Pokemon Snap game will be coming out on the Nintendo Switch. And, well, I already got a Nintendo Switch. I'm just waiting for all of that. That way I can uh, showcase more walkthroughs for you guys. Maybe even showcase the very first uh, few episodes of any kind of Nintendo Switch games onto my channel. Now that I have it. And look at that. Scraggy defeated. Oh, yes. Pokemon are gaining levels like crazy. That's awesome. That is awesome. Now, let's see. What can you find here? Nothing. Nothing really except for a Pokemon trainer. And a lot of Pokemon. And look at that. We found ourselves an Esper. Esper. Now, there are two forms of Esper. The male and female versions. I usually like to capture both kinds because, you know, for the collection and stuff. And here we go. God dang it, I'm in the bush. Oh my god, okay. So we're going to be getting a few people trying to attack us right here. Hidden into the bushes. And this is the exit, so we're going to go right here. And here we found ourselves. I came all this way from the Unova region to see the Parfum Palace. Oh, the Unova region? Uh, we're still trying to be the champions there. So here we go, Roderick coming out. Bunnelby, Kakashi, Hitake. See, what else? What else have I been trying to showcase here? Let's see. Well, I think you guys already know my opinions on Liquid Crystal. You, you guys really do. I mean, it's a long game, very, very long, and it, it, I just felt like it would never end. And here we have uh, Leo learning Electro Ball, so let's see what. Let's see. The user hurls an, an electric orb at the target. 
the faster the user is than the target, the greater the move is fat moves uh, power. Okay, so Play Nice is gonna be taken out eventually, you know, learning some stronger ass moves and all that crud. And look at that. Electro Ball. Roderick Strong has been defeated. He's gotta go talk to Vince McMahon now. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. And is there anything else? Yes, there's something right here. It's plus a Pokemon. And here we have another Esper. Yeah. Another male version of it. I think the female version is the hardest thing to try and find and stuff, so. I'm gonna be going right here. Grabbing ourselves an Ultra Ball. A much needed Pokeball for what will eventually become, uh, you know, trying to capture Snorlax and all that stuff. And look at that. Ninketa has appeared. Another Pokemon that, you know, you could get the whole one region. And what the hell? Oh, no wonder. Okay. Okay, there we go. Anywho, let's see, let's see. Jumping over here. Okay, so that's one section down. Now let's try and get to the second section right here. Now, normally I would, you know, for those who have been with me for a while, yeah, I would try and break it down to like four different sec or four different episodes in one area like this one right here. But since it's a ten part episode or ten part marathon for my walkthrough and for my birthday. I decided that, you know what, let's just incorporate everything in one that way. Eh, you guys can see what, what I'm doing and all that stuff. It doesn't take so long to actually finish this walkthrough and all that. You know, I'm being a little more smarter. And, well, let's go right ahead and get to the battling. Wait, why can't you see me? Tall grass is taller than I am. You're telling me there's Pokemon lurking in here? Yes, there is. Okay, here we go, another backpacker, his name is Jerome Bettis, and he is coming out with his fleshling. Did not know he was coming out with that. Okay, Elia. Let's get it. Let's do it. Let's try that new Electro Ball attack that you just learned. And... Oh, here's a quick attack. Didn't get paralyzed, but here we go. Electro Ball for the win! Suck it, fleshling! Oh, yes. Loving it. I'm loving it. And Jerome has been defeated. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rebob. Okay, so let's see. Trying to get out of this. And, well, we're going to have to get the this one right here. An antidote. Okay. Alrighty. So that's another move. An item. Another item. And look at that. You can actually find a Honage right here. Now, I get it. Many of you guys would love to see me have a an all Kalos team. I would love to do that too, but you know, I've already chosen the team that I wanted to choose for this walkthrough. Mainly because out of all the newer games that came out, such as X, Y, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, Sun Moon, all of them, I believe this game right here is the or you know, the X and Y series is the one that I actually got to play multiple times. Like, multiple, multiple times. I think I've already played it, like, about 15 times in a row. Like, restarted and all that stuff. So I kind of got... So I kind of have, a like, a, an idea of how to pass everything right here. Plus, I kind of know what kind of Pokemon I want for this one. I get it, we get a lot of Pokemon here. Lots of variants of Pokemon right here. But, there's one team that I kind of want to use. Or that I want, that I mainly want to use because I've been so comfortable with it. Plus, it's a six, uh, six generation team, so that's like you can't beat that. You really can. Maybe, maybe just maybe if uh, you know if I feel like doing it, going with Pokemon Y at some point. Like if I've already completed most of the walkthroughs and just decide to do Pokemon Y, then well, we'll do that. Pokemon Y, you know, Pokemon Y. And all Kalos team and all that stuff. And look at that. Another Pokemon ready. Lumiois. Lumis. Lumis. Ready for the Electro Ball. That would be nice though. Doing Pokemon Y and using an all Kalos team just to get this whole thing done. But, like I said, guys, I won't be steering away from any of like the plans that I have. Uh, as you guys already know, the style that I have, the new style that I have right here for, for my channel. I'm going from region to region to region to region, and I, I started off with the third versions of the, every single game, all until Pokemon Black. 
But many of you guys already know the third, the quote unquote third, uh, uh, third versions of uh, Pokemon Black happened to be Black and White too. Didn't really get it. Kind of bugged me because it was like, what about Pokemon Gray? You know, this could have worked for Pokemon Gray. Same thing goes for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Why wasn't there a Pokemon Eclipse? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, I would love for Nintendo to go back to the uh, to the third version, uh, like to a third version, where they incorporate everything within the storylines, because that, that right there was always fun for me. I don't know. Maybe they're hearing me out. Maybe they're not. I don't know. We shall see. And let's see. Well, I am just one person, so... Who knows? Who knows? Uh, right now, let's see. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield. The Isle of Armor and all that stuff. Um, I haven't gotten to it yet. But it seems pretty fun. I've seen some of my friends do it. Play and, all that stuff. and it seems very, very fun and all that stuff. To me, it kind of sounds like, or it kind of looks like, there won't be a third version exclusive. Instead, they might just, uh... See, what, what they might just do a remake of another game that they haven't done a remake for, such as uh, Pokemon uh, Diamond and Pearl. They haven't done anything of that, so that's my opinion right there. If they're coming out with a new Pokemon uh, Snap game, they're gonna come out with new uh, Pokemon Pearl and Diamond and all that stuff. And look at that, Beedrill defeated. And yes, I'm just I'm just dominating right here. Yes, sir. Okay. God dang it. See, that's what happens when you get into the grass. It just... No... N nothing good can come out of it. Pika, Pika. Let's go, Pikachu. Now, here's another thing too, guys. In, G in Pokemon X and Y, like I mentioned uh, after the gym battle, you won't be going into uh, the second gym battle until, you know... It will, it'll, it'll be a uh, nice... It'll be a while. It really will. That's one thing that I kind of like about it because it, like, it builds you up. But then there's its cons where it's like, man, it takes a while to actually get to the next gym battle. So, nah, well, yeah, that, and then, you know, getting to the next gym, the next and next and next gym, it's just, it's easier and easier. So, yeah, there's goods and pro, there's pros and cons about this game and all that stuff. I think it's one of the, one of my favorite, one of my more favorite games out of the newer generations and all that stuff. Probably because of the storyline and all that. And look at that, we found ourselves a, a uh, TM, and it's TM09 Venoshock. A very good move. We can actually uh, probably teach one of our Pokemon right here. And, well, let's see. I think I can use Repel right here. Alright, so let's go with the Repel. Alright, is there anybody in here that I need to battle? Nope, nothing. I think I've already battled everybody. Okay, so that is pretty much it for everybody here, guys. Uh, like I said, you'll be able to find some interesting Pokemon. Right here, you'll be able to find a tiny mushroom. That's the first time I've ever gotten a tiny mushroom that I remember of. And let's see. Yes, I'm going to have to use another repel. Don't want to get bothered by any of the Pokemon. And like I said, guys, off screen, I will be capturing all these Pokemon around here. So if you guys see my Pokemon leveled up or anything like that, that would be, you know... You guys, will, you guys will know why. So, if you guys spot a sign like this, this normally calls a guy that will take a picture. Fill the photo guy. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be taking a picture in front of the uh, Parfum Palace. Take a picture. Yes. Location and, well, look at that. We're taking a selfie. And, well, let's see. I'm going to have to lower this down. Nope. Wow, I'm like really bad. <laughs> Man, I am not good at this. There we go. Oh, wait. There we go. Okay, so look at that. He looks better. And how do I... Okay. There we go. Took a picture of that. We're going to save it. And we look great. Nice selfie right there. Okay, so let's see. Great job. Would you like to give a tip? Hell yeah, I would love to give a tip. And let's see. I'm going to give him a thousand because I am a high roller with the, when it comes to this. Not too shabby at all. You have a natural talent as a model. See ya. Okay, alrighty. 
So anywho guys, uh, let's see, there is something else that we need to get here. Oh yeah. No. I can see it right there from the distance. You can grab this item right here. Found ourselves another ether, which is good. And, well, that is pretty much it for this episode right here, guys. Uh, stay tuned. In the next episode, we will be going through the Parfum Palace to get the... What was it called? Uh, the Poke Flute and all that stuff. And then finish it off right there by capturing a Snorlax. So, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you in the next episode. See you guys.